The latest from Amanda Klutz is she's went into Nick's phone and she posted all these videos and him singing, really cute, intimate stuff. But had a yeah. friend call me last night and say, why is this woman sharing all of her personal emotional pain, stuff like this, on, on Instagram? People can grieve how they want to grieve. And That's they can exactly remember how right. they want to do it. This, this community of people came together throughout the process. Yeah. She feels beholden yep. to them, I think. But also, remember, she lives with Zach Braff. She can't even hug him. Mm -hmm. She only can hug her son Elvis, so she's lacking connection. These people were there for her in this time. You can't judge how someone else grieves. So maybe this, she does look it's at helpful. these people like their family, yeah. their extended family. I think it's helping her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here with Dr. Dorian, I still have some medical questions about Nick Cordero. His best friend, Zach Braff, said his lungs were like Swiss cheese when he died. He had beaten coronavirus. How concerned should people be about long-term damage and effects? Uh, it's a major concern. We will be talking about people who have severe lung scarring from which they're gonna suffer other illnesses. Easier to get pneumonias, gonna need requirement like oxygen. So um, the lungs are getting battered uh, right now because of COVID-19, you survive, but then your lungs are now of a, the lungs of an 80 year old. Should young people be concerned about that? That's who actually should be concerned about it because even though their symptoms are not dramatic to the point where they get or pass away, they may get hospitalized. They're the ones who are unfortunately gonna lose out on some great years because their lung capacity is gonna be altered. Okay, we hear about super spreaders. These are the people that are going to bars, you know, talking and that. But then there's silent spreaders. And these are the folks that are asymptomatic. That's where they're saying most of the spread is happening. That part is the unique feature of COVID-19, the silent spreader. So how do we control the blah, 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 and the silent spreader, we mask them. Should we have a national mask mandate? They're saying, I mean, could save 45,000 lives by November. I would like it for people to just do it. We don't have a national shoe mandate. Wear shoes when you leave the house. But if it's necessary. At this point, you have to see it like that. Yeah, and it, it, it's, it's affordable. Make it unique, make, make it, it yours. Look at Lady Gaga the other day, right? With the spikes coming out. That was so her. Yeah, so you can't What's even... you? What says you? What gets to your core? What mask says, you know, it gets your aura, your energy, what do you call it? Your, what your transfers your karma onto other people's? Just do it. Just do it, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's couples retreat for anyone yeah. who doesn't know. <laughs> and the yoga instructor, Google it. Two Lysol products confirmed by the EPA to absolutely kill coronavirus on surfaces. That's good. That's good. Uh, I can guarantee you're not gonna find it on the shelves now. <laughs> is it too late? Did I miss no, the stock? Look, uh, killing the virus is not hard because all you need is basically alcohol. Higher than 60% alcohol will kill the virus. Don't get focused on just that one product. Any disinfectant, any wipe is gonna do the job. Okay, but just to be clear, we still shouldn't use the Lysol like Banaka right yet. Yeah, this is not for uh, not oral intake. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.